Greetings everybody and welcome to Wager Talk TV. I'm Pavlos Lagoretos here with a free play in the Leeds Cup. Uh, this match goes on Wednesday in the Leeds Cup. Uh, it's a match between Charlotte and Cruz Azul. Uh, it goes live on 8 p.m. Eastern. But before that, I wanted to remind you guys that we're on a 3-0 start in 4% releases uh, in the uh, Leeds Cup so far. And we're 7-0 dating back to last season and 9-1 and if we add the 5% uh, as well. So really good with this uh, top five, uh, f- uh, 4 and 5% uh, bets in the Leeds Cup. And uh, we're looking to uh, keep it going. We have one for Tuesday, a 4% Asian spread bet and one 5% Asian spread bet for Wednesday. Uh, so make sure to like and subscribe, drop a, con- a comment below. And I want to remind you guys about our promo, uh, SOC30 gets you uh, 30 days of soccer for just 129. You can go to wt.buzz slash pl and you'll find all my free plays and my streaks and my promos as well. Now onwards to our free play. Uh, this is a group of death uh, with Charlotte, Cruz Azul and Philadelphia Union. All very good sides. Uh, however, you know, Philadelphia have been struggling as of late, but they seem to find their groove. Uh, in their last three or four matches, uh, they did beat um, uh, Charlotte by one to nil in the first match, and now Charlotte they absolutely need the win against one of the strongest uh, teams in the in the Liga MX, Cruz Azul, who, to be honest, I took them at uh, plus uh, I believe twelve hundred to win the League Cup, as they made uh, a really good um, you know they made uh, they brought a lot of players in the transfer window, and uh, they have a, just a really nice squad. One thing is in common for uh, the two sides, and that's uh, you know, the tight defenses. Charlotte, they, this season, they just, they don't score a lot of goals. They don't concede a lot of goals at home. In fact, um, in home matches alone, they have the lowest total um, with just two goals per match. Um, they're eight and four to the under two and a half goals. They scored 14 and conceded 10. Uh, so that's by far the lowest total. Although, you know, take the recent results with a grain of salt because they had a two-two draw against Orlando City at home in a match where they were playing with 10 men uh, since early um, in that match, but you know they generally keep it very very tight. So now they don't need to n- unnecessarily open up against a very very dangerous Cruz Azul side. I think uh, at least on Charlotte's perspective, they're gonna look for a very tight match. So if they can score the sole goal of the match and win, that's good for them. But Cruz Azul, they you know they don't necessarily open up. Um, they actually went uh, five and three to the under two and a half goals on the road in the Clausura that finished uh, back in May uh, with just 1.9 goals on average with uh, away matches. So you know that they're taking things very, very slow on the road as well. Now, these two teams, they both have some really good options up front. Uh, Charlotte, they had Swiderski come back from his loan. Uh, they have uh, so, all sorts of players who can really do the damage. And so Cruz Azul, but they also have tight defenses so i think this is gonna be you know the asian total started uh opened at uh exactly three goals so the if you want to take the asian under uh it was at three goals now it's, it's dropped significantly over the past uh, 12 hours or so and it's uh, down at 2.5 goals and i think you know i lost a bit of faith in that one because if you took the under three and there were exactly three goals you still had a push you didn't lose but now if you take under two and a half goals and there's three, exactly three goals in that match, you lose. But I'm still going to take half a unit on um, uh, the under two and a half goals. I think this is going to be a very tight first half. So maybe uh, the first half under one goal is a, a, a safe way to approach this match. But I think under two and a half goals, uh, I think that's the way to go here. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Again, this is a strange match in the, what I've called you know, the group of death with Charlotte, Cruz Azul and Philadelphia. So uh, good luck with anything you choose and um, also check out my streaks and my free plays at wt.buzz slash pl. Good luck.